right, guys, we're back with Zoe, but she's not even in the shot. So, so, you know, a lot of what I want you to remember is we've got to use this collar on her. There's no other way to communicate. Zoe! Good girl. So the name is the recall. And the reason we do that is because if she starts to want run away, nine out of ten Americans yell the dog's name. Or, now, let's do a survey, Summer. If your dog runs away, what do you, what is the first thing you say? They say stop. I don't know. <laughs> hey, stop running. No, they say stop. Okay, well, you know, no, we could do it. What's that one game show where they have to, like, guess the top five answers? That'd be Family good. Family feud. Yeah, yeah. Some version of that. Dog feud. Oh, man, that'd be good. Zoe's not been one to take to the manners minder. Um, but anyway, the other thing we want to do, so I can make her come to me with the collar. I am using the pager every time I call her, and I want you to do that too. What we and look, she's actually defaulting to just laying down. You know, what we don't want to do is set up a dynamic where we're saying to ourselves, how do I correct this? How do I correct this? How do I correct this? We're trying to set up a dynamic where we say, how do I get her to do this? How do I get her to do this? How do I get her to do this? So it's really the opposite. So it's like on Seinfeld where George did the opposite of every instinct. So uh, with her, Zoe, pick her, I want to be able to get the collar on without her mouthing and biting at my hand. And once, uh, uh, no, once I get it on there, I don't want that. And that was kind of her knee-jerk reaction to getting it on there was to bite at it. But other than that, she's ready for school. And she's in attendance. And that's what you want. When I see these videos, you guys, where the dog isn't even looking at the people. I'm sorry. All right, now that was that thing. I'm telling you, I like the whole haunted electronics. I believe that the Tonight, summer's spirits gonna will try to communicate through stuff Summer's like going to learn more as And count. aliens. Well, but then, but then, but then it leads into the part where you come to work and I'm inside the computer. <laughs> Saying, yeah. Summer, I'm in here. I'm in here. Let the dogs out. And you'd be like, Let the dogs out. Yeah, just this. let the dogs out. Get my treats. You'd be like, I don't remember filming this. All right, but look, what happened was the dog chose on her own to have the most desirable behavior. Zoe. So I want her to be able to heal. Good. Heal. And that isn't healing. If I do put any pressure on that leash, I'm going to do the page on the neck. I'm not going to waste my energy. I'm going to add my neck right here. Heal. She already kind of had that turn. She can't just can't get down quick enough, though. Down. And so that's the opposite of jumping up. She just can't get down quick enough. And if I say to myself this whole week, and this is how you guys at home need to do too, because I've got all kinds of things going on right here. I've got the bent paw, everything. You know, if I've got a dog that's saying to itself, instead of jumping up, I like laying down. I'm doing my job. So if my job this week is that, I'm only going to give her the treats. And I'm not going to say only. I'm going to give her the lion's share of the treats for going down. So I'm not going to say all the treats because I don't want to lose my turn. Tony, so she's checks and balances. Molly there. I pick her up with the pager. That's my precursor. Zoe, you precious, precious dog. I'm going to be ready though if she does the cut in front of me. Good. Nope. I'm going to do a tiny treat on that turn though because I don't want to lose my turn. So what I don't want is her kind of jockeying around. So I'm good down. Oh, she didn't even jockey. It's my new term. I was watching horse racing. You need to make your own dictionary. <laughs> anything? No, anything I see on TV, I was watching horse racing. Now we're jockeying around. <laughs> Who knows what I'll watch next on cops. We're throwing down. We're throwing down. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to do my pager. I don't hear my sound box, though. Zoe. Good. So I want to start adding with her heel. 
I, I bounced her off right there. That's what that that's what that sound was. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, we need to do a video called Letters to Fred Campo. Fred Campo is the uh, president of the LRC. Apparently, because I forgot to pay my dues, I got kicked out. And uh, they didn't have my right email. And she knows they didn't have my right email. Uh, and she, they apparently email you to let you know, uh, you know, that it's due or whatever. And Time to renew it. Again, it's not like I have a history. I told her, I said I paid a 15-year mortgage off in three years. <laughs> you know, and I I'd already volunteered on the message. You know, just let me pay five years in advance. You know, even for my tag or whatever, I always get the two-year thing. Right. Anyway, apparently they kick you out, and the only way to get back in is now to have someone write another nomination letter to get you back in. And if you if you got kicked out because you didn't pay, shouldn't it be a letter from your banker? <laughs> no, to say she's fine, she's good for it. So, you know, I said, because the one guy that wrote me a letter, Pete Simons, he's dead now. And I said, I don't know if Nelson's still around. Nelson was the... Well, she trains with Nelson every day, so I'm sure she's now told Nelson, oh, my God, this disagreeable woman. You know, because I said, I can't believe that. I don't mind. You know, what they, my advice would be have a $100 reinstatement fee. That would keep people from not paying it. And I would gladly pay that. Mm -hmm. And then they could get more money. And then off, also off the option to be able to pay five years in advance. Because then they'd get some big balloon payments that they could do something with. Right. Not kick people out. Yeah, because then people ain't going to want to go back in. Well, no, I'm, I'm really not. I, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. And I'm sure Dr. Phil would say, you do care. Oh, um, well. Because then I said, well, I don't really know what the LRC does for me. She goes, oh, we do a lot of money for research. And then I go, well, that's true. So then I felt bad. Kind of like on Seinfeld where Jerry, uh, you know, was uh, called that girl pimple popper, you know, uh, that, that dermatologist because she wasn't a lifesaver or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So then she's making me feel bad. And then she goes, you know, so I said, well, whatever. You know, if there's nothing I can do, there's nothing I can do. She goes, well, there's something you can do. I said, I'm not going to ask somebody. You know, after I was in the club for 15 years. Well, well what kind of letter? What does this letter have to say? Um, you know, basically that this person is, you know, an ethical Reader. I don't even remember exactly. I wish right. I, you know, had made copies of the letter. I wish I had a copy of the letter. Uh, yeah, because then Pete could Simon you just use me. your same In fact, letter? maybe they still have it at the LRC. <laughs> I can ask for it. I can't believe you need uh, another one instead of them just well, yeah, using I mean, the same one. I it mean, wasn't like, if it was because I didn't pay. <laughs> right, then why but, you do you know, need she another goes, letter? Oh, here's your email, T-O-O-N-L-E-S. I said, no, it's T-O-O-N-C-S. So they know they didn't have the right. I said, it's not like I just ignored the emails. I never got them. She goes, well, it's your responsibility to check and make sure they have the right email. I said, in 15 years, they never emailed me. It didn't occur to me to say, where's they, all the emails sound, for the last 15 years? They sound strict and Heel. mean. Oh, they are. Sheesh. I'll tell you who I'm Goodness. getting out of my life. All mean people. Yeah, I mean, strict people. A bunch of rules. A Rather bunch of rules. no money. You know, from someone. Yeah. Down. A big and again, scene. if you know, it's not like I filed for bankruptcy, or you know, if the only problem was that you didn't pay, I don't think that that's necessarily. And they know they had the wrong email, and that I was in the club for 15 years at least. Uh, that they would just say, letter. you know, Sheesh. I probably should have been more Rico Suave though, and I should have said, what if I, you know. Make like a hundred dollar extra donation towards rescue, you know, and we kind of just let this slide. <laughs> just well, push it under the mat. Like push it it the <laughs> and then I'll give you five years in advance. This should be all, all right, over but that. I can tell you, this dog couldn't be doing any better. Mm, I do need great. to add my nick, though. Good. Down. Good. What I want to see right here is a curl paw. Down. Well, this dog's got a really nice body language, though, because it's all going that way. Good. All right, so I'm going to pick her up with the Pedro. I, I, again, heightened reality. Zoe! Good. Yay! There's one thing I love. It's my little cone. Heel. Good. Yay! So I'm not using the leash to manipulate her. Good. I'm going to in a minute here. She crowds me. Good. Heel. 
Alright, look, here's all my precursor. This knee down. You precious angel. She fell with a thud. You can't ask for more than that. She hit the ground with a thud. It could be our new uh, book. thing. Oh, we teach them to hit the ground with a thud. They, the no, that doesn't sound good. they jockeyed into cancel a thud. Cancel that, cancel that, they, we'll edit this. They jockeyed into a thud. We jockeyed him around and got him into a thud. <laughs> Alright, look, so down. No, down. My job. Good. 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 No, down. See what happened with my paw. Down. She's she's a cagey one, this one. You know, so we never want to do any of that more of that nose popping or anything like that. It makes them cagey. And I'll tell you, she's cagey. Down. You know, where they don't want. Good. Good. Down. And we'll get her doing it good by the end of the week. Good. Oh, she is precious. She is precious. And, you know, and they've got to learn that doing nothing is doing something. I'll tell you how she's doing. She's doing it. So, all right, let's get her in the bed one time, though. All right, I'm going to pick her up with the pager, though. I'm communicating with the pager, not the leash. Zoe, in your place. And? So essentially, I'm pushing her down right there, but with the pager. Not trying to jerk her with leash. We don't want to do that. She's a very sensitive little soul. I'll tell you how she's doing. She's doing absolutely perfect. Okay, guys. Okay. 